Hello everyone and welcome back to another video where today I'll be showing you how to easily change the plates on pretty much any car in Assetto Corsa. So I'm going to get straight into it by saying that pretty much there are three main types of plates that you can really have in this in this game. First is no plate at all. So where you download a mod you notice that the car literally has no license plates at all. Unfortunately with that it's quite a fair bit harder to add plates so I will not be demonstrating that in this video but the other two which are um, that uh, the mod creator puts a plate thing I, I can't quite remember what it's called but pretty much they put this little field thing where in the in the livery in the specific livery you can put a plate and it will come onto there depending on the livery it will be a different plate uh, um, judging by what plates you really have in the files, if that makes sense. But I'll be showing you that, which is a fairly easy one uh, to deal with, and then I'll be showing you the hardest one to probably deal with, which is the uh, the one where you have to go to uh, a, a separate application if, if, that, if that other process doesn't work. So, basically I'll stop talking and get into it and show you what I mean. So this is a McLaren 675LT, uh, and as you can see, I'm going into this little thing. I'll turn it around to the back uh, because this thing only has one plate. And as you can see, the plate is LT04MCL. Now, the easiest way to distinguish whether or not this car can easily be changed, just the, the plates can be changed through the livery editor thing, is uh, you go on one paint job, you see the plate, it's LT04MCL. So let's go on another, another paint, say if I want to go on, on green. 360 and if it's the same plate then it usually means that it's in the 3D editor thing. Uh, so what is this plate? It is LT04MCL. So what I'm going to quickly do is uh, go on the orange right. I will go into the game files. So what you want to do is go to your Steam library. I'm going to go to Steam apps, common, Assetto Corsa, content, cars and search up the car you want to work with. Obviously for this, I want to go on the 675LT Spider. So then what you want to do is go to Skins, and because we tested out green and orange, let's go on here. As you can see, there are no plates, no sign of any plates. So I'll be, um, yeah, and as you can see, there's no sign of any plates in orange either, which means that this is going to be the harder method. So I'll, I'll leave this, this car till later, because it's going to be a harder method uh, of how to change the plates. Uh, but I'll start off with something a bit easier, I guess. I just need to actually find a car, so I will be back you to, with you when I actually find a car, which is easy to do it with. Okay, so I have found a car which appears to have uh, the, 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 the one we'll be working with. So, this is a Lamborghini Huracan Performante. If I go in the three seat, this is uh, the stock uh, Performante that comes in a Seto Corsa. Yeah, if I swing around to the rear wheel real quick, you will see that the plates are AC636KS. Uh, so, that should mean that I, sh I should be able to, to change the plates. So what you want to do is, of course, go to your game files, and then you want to locate the car, go into skins, go into the color, uh, just just um, the color you want to change the plates of. So, so what was the color? It was, it would be, um, I think it was, yeah, it was Verde, it wasn't Verde Mantis, it was too light to be Verde Mantis. Uh, no, it was Verde Mantis, okay, my bad. Uh, so you want to find Verde, Verde Mantis, and as you can see the plate is AC636KS, and of course we have the NM over there, which kind of adds the 3D effect of the plate. Uh, but to be honest, if you're going to do custom plates, it's a bit hard to do the NM, so for this demonstration I'll just be showing you how to how to create the plate and not make it 3D, but it will, it will still look pretty good, okay? So, what I'm going to do uh, is go to myplates.com. Now, this is a real-life con configurator for actual cars in New South Wales. Uh, so, uh, I don't know, what, what plate do I want? I want, I want P4MNTE, and I'm pretty sure that plate already exists on a car. So, uh, yeah, let's go. But yeah, I want, I, want, I want this plate on my little Huracan Performante in-game, so let's just find a plate that looks good. This looks pretty good. This I think this would suit the Mantis Green quite a lot. So, once you've found the plate you want to put on your car, open Photoshop or another photo editing software like Photoshop. It doesn't have to be Photoshop. Uh, 
It just has to be something similar, okay? You just have to be able to save it as a DDS file. Uh, there is an extension for Photoshop. Uh, so if you just search up NVIDIA Texture Tools online, it should just be the first result, and you can download the DDS file format thing. Anyway, so, yep, you want to right-click, copy image, and then, of course, you want to paste it in. So, once you've pasted it in, you will want to scale it to fit the entire uh, uh, resolution, which is uh, 1024 by 256 if you if you missed it before. Uh, so obviously you want to scale it up. If it doesn't fit, obviously you're going to have to free transform it, stretch it a bit. It'll look fine in game. Uh, it just looks a bit strange when you've seen it like this and then you, you make it look something a bit like this. It just looks a bit too tall. But it's, it's completely fine. It's all good. So yeah, there it is. Uh, uh, Performante plate. So then what you want to do, file, save as, I'm going to save it of course as the DDS file format which is here, and just save it wherever, I'm just going to call it uh, P4 for now. Save it, save. Okay, I'm going to minimize Photoshop for now, minimize that, and keep this open. So as you can see, this is right here, uh, drag it into your, your paint, and then you want to of course copy the name, and then you want to delete plate D, okay? And you want to go in your Performante, you want to rename it plate D, and there you go, your plates have been changed. However, this isn't really, the, this. We're, we're only kind of halfway done, because of course you need to sort out the NM thing, because, as you can see, at the moment, the car will, will kind of have the old plate in the background of the new plate. Uh, if I just spin around to the back, you should be able to see that, yes, there is our new plate, but, as you can see, in the background is the old plate, so, you want to try to remove that. So, uh, the easiest way to do that is to find another car uh, which has the NM thing, but it's literally just a, a line. Uh, an example of this would be, say, the CC49 Edition 600LT, which you can download in the description of this video, because uh, I'll link it there. Uh, but if I just search up 600LT, let's see if it comes up just in the WD. There it is, <laughs> okay. So, as you can see, skins here, that's the thing we want to get. So, you copy that, paste it in here, replace. After that's done, go back into the paint uh, in game, swing around to the rear, and then you should be all good to go. Um, yeah, as you can see, there is our plate. It doesn't really have a 3D effect, but it's, it's all good. It looks completely fine on the Harikan Performante. And yeah, there's nothing in the background that, that makes it look completely odd. So, that is the first method of trying to change the plates on your car. And as you can see, that's on that design. But say if I went verde skin, uh, if I went to the back of this and looked at the plates here, uh, they should be unaffected by our changes to the, the plates in the previous color. They are still AC697KS. So that's that's the first method, okay? But yeah, as as we took a we we took a look at the of course the 675 LT earlier, and it has the same plates across all of them. So for that, you're going to have to download something that I'm also going to link in the description called um, 3D Sim ED3. So what this pretty much is is a a, a thing that can open KN5 files, which is the Assetto Corsa model file type, so it's, it, it does that, and you can adjust certain properties with the car and everything. It's a very, very useful tool. Uh, yeah, you can do more than just uh, change the plates, and I'll do a more in-depth video of using it uh, later on. Anyway, of course, for now, we want to change the 675LT. So, 675LT Spider, uh, as you can see in here, I actually have two of them. Uh, so we have the, we, uh, I'm pretty sure it's this one that we'll be doing it with though. Uh, let's just find, yeah, Spider and then Spider RF. Uh, well, I don't know which one's which in here, but I'm just going to go with one of them because it doesn't really matter that much. Where am I, where am I going? Where was I going? Oh yeah, I was in, um, here. Okay, there we go. So, you'll see that sometimes there are multiple KN5 files, but just press on the one with the largest, uh, largest in size. Open that, OK, and just give it a second, and here you go, you have a little model of the car in-game, and as you can see, there are the plates right there. So yeah, you can just look around the car a bit, but what you want to do 
hover, hover your little cursor over it, right click, go material, and then scroll down here until you find your plate, uh, until it highlights your plate. So this is material number 89. And as you can see, uh, the texture map is plate here, which is in the um, which is in the files. Now, when you open up a car in this, it'll create a temp folder in um, in, in in the little folder that the the application comes in, and it should just be the top. And yeah, these are the these are all of the all of the um, all of the textures for this specific car. So as you can see, here is our plate. What you want to do is find the I need to actually create a plate for this car, so I'll do that and come back in just a sec. Okay, so once you have your plate sorted, make sure you go into... Uh, okay, I need to open... I can go into downloads here. So, I've saved it to downloads. Here is the plate I just created then. What you want to do, drag it over to the temp file and drop it in there. It's as easy as that. And then what you want to do, press OK here if, if you haven't opened it. Uh, if you've already opened it, then you have to. But if you scroll through here, you should be able to find the um, the plate we just put in, which is C75 LTS. Press OK, and there is the plate. Now, do this method pretty much will apply the plate to every single livery, uh, which is a bit, uh, but whatever. It should be fine if you don't really care that much about the plate for each livery. Uh, but yeah, that's how to do that. But of course, you'll be wondering now, how do I actually put this car in the game now? What you want to do, export, and then plug in export just over here, press that, go find the 675LT uh, in here, so as you can see, the 675LT Spider, and you just want to save it, and it'll overwrite the KN5 file that is in the, in the, in the thing already. So, having done that, let's go back into Assetto Corsa, go into the 675LT Spider, 360, Go to the rear, and if this has worked, which it, it definitely should have, as you can see, there are our new plates, 675 LTS. And yeah, so that's that's pretty much how to change the plates. Uh, to show you that it works in game, I'll do a bit of a, a hot lap at um, at Eastern Creek. So yeah, I'll just do pretty much a little bit of a. Um, a voiceover whilst I'm si I'm watching the car go around the track. So I'll come back to you in just a second. So as you can see, here is our car on Eastern Creek, of course, because it's the only track I ever really ever drive in this game. And yes, I was on my racing wheel, and there's the plate on the car right there, uh, just as you'd expect. So yeah, uh, what inspired me to make this video is that pretty much I was searching for a method to change the plates myself. And I just could not find one. There was not a single video on YouTube which showed this exact method of how to really change the plates. Uh, so I, I, I decided why not make one and show you guys how to do it yourselves. Uh, but yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it informed you and I, I, I hope it was helpful. But for now, I'll just leave you with a bit more footage of this car going around Eastern Creek. So yeah, that's it for the video and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.